So I finally installed my first mod. <laughs> it's the Raimi Venom or Black Suit, however you want to go ahead and call it, in the Spider-Man 3 movie from 2007. This movie is quite interesting because I remember around 2002-ish, 2004, we started to see kind of a different transformation in cinema and we got to eventually around that time see the first Spider-Man movie make its way to the theaters. And then by the time Spider-Man 3 had come out, it was already kind of a cult classic. In fact, I didn't even know who the director was of those movies. I didn't care. I just thought those movies were pretty cool putting Spider-Man on screen. So recently I decided, man, I really have to figure out how to use these mods. I mean, I game on PC for the most part. One of the benefits of gaming here is if you really want to tinker, you can kind of mod, you know, different suits and skins from video games who allow for you to be able to do it. I mean, yes, there are limitations. You take the liberties given to you and you have fun. No need to be, you know, doing something crazy. So the Nexus mods, uh, you know, community provides a lot of, you know, people who can put up their mods, upload them, and you can get them for different video games. I was going to do some for Gotham Knights, but for some strange reason, I didn't want to mess with it. I think probably what I'll do is I'll create possibly another, uh, you know, Steam account and get another copy of Gotham Knights and then possibly do some mods on there. I didn't want to mess with my main file because I really wanted to keep my progression. But for my Spider-Man on PC, eh, not really worried or bothered about the progression on there because I already beat the game basically on the PlayStation 4 when it came out in 2018. And so I just have no interest in really playing it. So I was able to basically find a 100% file and then get the mods to get this suit in the game. And I can tell you it's quite phenomenal just being able to kind of like take the game, take some of the different elements and just play around and see how this thing looks is quite you know amazing and this continues to open the doors for different conversations in fact this even opens up more doors for the conversations for what suits we'd love to see in the game now because we're going to be seeing some stuff about venom in spider-man 2 i thought i'd take the liberty to talk about a spider-man suit that i actually really do like it's actually the venom suit from spider-man shattered dimensions for some strange reason, I like the way this suit is shaded. The game itself is, you know, developed in a way where most of its art and all that is shaded, but I really do enjoy the fact that they were able to bring different variations of Spider-Man in the Spider-Man universe and kind of make a game that was cohesive together. But the Venom suit was one that I really liked the look. I appreciated the way it not only looked, but the way it made Spider-Man play. They could pretty much rally the characters, uh, you know, play style to you know accentuate this particular level of uh you know gameplay expansion in a sense and i think this might be something that insomniac might be wanting to do i think they want to take the game's development to a new level so we're already seeing right off the bat peter is using the venom powers the thing we don't know though is if miles is going to get a taste of that <laughs> like is he gonna get a a hit of the you know venom drug is he gonna literally you know be able to be the one that probably serves as a conscience for Peter so he doesn't go super duper dark. Uh, but these are just story themes. But the skin and the suit itself is one that you actually fight some interesting, uh, you know, bosses with. And that's one thing about Shadow Dimensions is the way the game is actually designed. They masterfully use their limitations to approach the game from a different sense. It didn't have the uh, real time, you know, switching of characters like we do in today's modern uh, or I say that should I say modern I'll say just much more advanced uh, hardware that's available for gamers because then you know you played a, a scene or you played an act or a mission using this Spider-Man or dealing with these issues via this kind of Spider-Man so maybe the Spider-Man noir or maybe the Spider-Man uh, of the future and all that stuff and then you know you got to play as the Venom Spider-Man but in this case putting this stuff out there in the game makes me even go ahead and say you know what Maybe the developers would benefit from actually taking the time now to explore a different dimension of suits and, uh, you know, skins that they haven't necessarily put in other games or that haven't even ever shown up in many video games. So they could start taking things from some of the comics like people are requesting here across the Internet. They could even start looking at stuff from some of the animated, uh, you know, material out there that's been existing forever because Venom is someone who has been, in my opinion, one of my favorites since the radioactive spider-man days some of you may or may not necessarily have been watching these cartoons at that time you're probably younger some of you you're ogs you're probably older than me and you watched it back in the day or you're my age but this is a really interesting set of spider-man paradigms because they really brought out the much more cerebral side of spider-man 
that's where I got to see Lizard, uh, you know, as a character in full fashion, seeing his strength and, you know, for the first time and appreciating a lot of different Spider-Man characters. So even if I'm like saying, OK, maybe this, you know, Spider-Man Shadow Dimensions Venom suit is one of my favorites. I still have to go ahead and give it to that OG Venom look in regard to the Radioactive Spider-Man series that didn't necessarily run too long. And hopefully they're able to go ahead and just start to pick out from this selection of the Venom and Dark Suit combinations and provide them in the game. I think it's really going to resonate. I think it's really going to uh, sell a different side. And, you know, in terms of like, OK, this is what we're going for. And then while at the same time, it's going to be pushing the core of what they want their game to look like, like the visualization of this game entirely, wanting it to be dark themed and so on and so forth. And now you're just getting these skins that really do accentuate all of that. And the good thing about this is based on what we're hearing, we're going to be seeing the suits that were featured in the other games. In fact, there's a report right now. I don't know how valid it is that we're getting everything we got from the other games and more. So if they're going to start with that as a baseline, say, OK, you're going to get access to everything that you had before. And now we're going to even grant you a lot more skins and a lot more suits. It's really going to take this game to a whole different level because you're not only going to be getting the suits for Peter, you're also going to be getting Miles' suits as well. And if my suspicion is actually on point where they might allow for you to be able to play as, say, possibly Black Cat or Yuri in other DLCs, which I think they definitely need to do, then we have a whole different conversation coming up. But I'll leave that for now. I don't know if they've confirmed anything of that nature, but it would be nice to see if they did. And we can talk about this further in other videos. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you guys this time and audience. Hopefully we'll talk pretty soon in another one. Peace out.